of medicine for me as it is for the ones we're helping. Tristan called and I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. I'll be Uncle, my name is Saul Stu, sitting here with Miss Leslie Cooper. It is a hot night in New Orleans, and we are ready to party. Our next artist is a world-class brass band that has rocked stages all over the world, but there's nothing like seeing them do it right here in New Orleans. I have second line many a mile with this band. It's an honor to have them here in the Hot 8 Brass Band. Y'all know what's up with that. It's going to be a good one. Leslie, how you feeling, now? It's warm. It is moist. It is New Orleans and I am good with that because we've got the hot eight in the den. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. You know what? We have been doing this for 68 weeks. 68 weeks, my God. I, I cannot imagine, but it has been an amazing thing. We've helped 576 musicians and gig workers, and the way to do that is to go to our website, thefunkyuncle.live. to 36413. I'm going to tell you other ways that you can help, lots of things you can do. we got Frenchie in the house doing a live painting tonight. This one's going to be really good, isn't it, Stu? Oh, of course, of course. All right, let's get back to it, y'all. The Hot Eight's about to blow the roof off this place like it's the Claiborne Bridge. Give it up for the Hot Eight, and don't forget to wash your hands and stomp your feet.
Yeah, you right, y'all. Give it up for the hot Woo! eight brass bands blowing the roof off the Funky Uncle. And a city known for our brass bands. The Hot Eight has always been known as one of the most fiery out of them all. I've seen them at least a hundred times, and I'm telling you, never had a bad show. Keep getting better, baby. And you know, it makes me uh, makes me think of all those great memories we've had marching down the streets with this band at the second line, with the you know smell of barbecue in the air, maybe uh, you know maybe some other kind of smoke wafting through. Other smell. Yeah, other you know smell. the sweat's getting in your eyes, but you wipe it back and just keep on marching with the band. That's what I'm thinking about right now whenever I hear these guys play Leslie how about you and we are and we are doing that it is <laughs> we, are. It, we are truly good these guys are they're melting out here tonight but uh meanwhile hopefully yeah. melting some minds oh, over here as well with that artwork look at that Frenchie yeah. does uh, magic Frenchie makes Absolutely. magic each week and um there are ways that you can help the funky uncle you can help the musicians and the gig workers and that's by when you go to our website the funky live you can click on that button that says bid on the frenchy painting because he does an amazing painting every week every week out of these 69 oh they changed it to 69 weeks now <laughs> my Six time weeks, flies you know? flies <laughs> Right. We have raised over $440,000, and so much of that has come from Frenchie's generosity, his talent, and his heart, and he, he, he smears it on that canvas each and every week. You need to check it out, because not only do we have the live painting, but we've also got prints, and the prints are in the Funky Shop. Yeah. There's a lot They're of gorgeous. stuff in the Funky Shop. What do you like out of the Funky Shop? The Frenchie G Clays are gorgeous, the canvas prints, but I like our new t shirts we've got going. T shirts are good. Yeah, the get swagged out. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The Funky Shop, check it out because we know you're sitting on your sofa. You got you better not have your feet up. You better have moved that coffee table and <laughs> dance it around. You know, we, we'll call it your uh your workout for the day because we're getting our workout here and we are so happy that you are here with us guys we want to thank you all for being here with us because this is i've been looking forward to this one all week long absolutely well you know i think we'll let the let the hot eight get back to doing what they do best in the meantime y'all don't forget to wash your hands and stomp your feet <laughs>
out in this world. We need you to repeat after us right here. Listen to the whole phrase. Help me about to say, oh, 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 oh. Hey, home, we want to hear you say, oh, oh, oh. Hey, we like it when the eight go, oh, 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 oh. We can feel it when everybody go, oh. to the funky uncle playing their hearts out like they always do. What a night of music. It's not over yet. Hope you're dancing at home like we are behind the scenes here. Speaking of behind the scenes, big shout out to our hard working crew. A lot of people uh, put a lot of energy into this to bring you all this great music in. We couldn't do it without them. Also couldn't do it without our good friends over at Fallberg Private Wealth. Thank them so much for all they've done for us here at the Funky Uncle. And then not only are we uh, bringing you some great music, we're actually going to bring you a wonderful painting. My man Frenchie is over here I'm doing oh, another man. original. It's uh, it's coming to life. Now, he had the figures earlier. Now he's got the horns popping out, and he's going <laughs> to add some colors. And it's going to be beautiful, and it can be yours. Right, Leslie? It can be yours. But wait. If you call before midnight, no, no, no. <laughs> if you click on that button that says bid on the Frenchie painting, you can get this painting. It can go hang on your living room wall or your bedroom. I, I don't care where you put it. Just uh, you need to bid on this because if, you've, if you're familiar with Frenchie, you know that it's, uh, it's going to be an amazing piece of work. And it goes to such a good cause. I told you earlier, we've raised over $440,000, helped 500 We were, we pride, we took pride in that we were able to give musicians uh, a gig. We were able to give our sound guys and video and our lighting directors and our camera operators 
a, a job. We were able to give assistance to our bartenders and our barbacks and our door guys because that's what it takes to have a musical community. A musical community that works together and we took care of those people as much as we could. Our people, not those people, our people. We mm -hmm. took care of our people as much as we could. You did it as much as you could and we are asking that you continue your support because we got a lot of catching up to do, right guys? I mean, y'all are playing again a little bit. Everybody's coming back a little bit, a little bit. But we got a lot of catching up to do. And you can make that happen. Text FUNK to 36413 or on the website, thefunkyuncle.live. You can click on the, the um, uh, uh, Funky Shop. Ah, it left me. That's where all of our merchandise is. That's where our prints are. If you can't afford the big Frenchie painting, you can always buy a print and make that happen. You can, when you're doing your text, though, have some of those. Pick a card, oh, any card. All right, here. what you got? What you got? <laughs> I got Alan Toussaint. You yeah. got Alan. Ah. Oh, I got James Booker. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, there you go. <laughs> if you click on, when you text Funk to 36413, and you click on a recurring membership, you become a funky cousin. That's right, because we've all got that funky uncle that comes and like makes Thanksgiving a lot more fun than it could be, you know? But if you donate $52, we are going to give you a deck of 52 Fat Banker cards, and every one of them has a different musician, all right? That's really cool. Check out the website, check it out. Thanks again. You mentioned our, our sponsor who have been here for weeks and weeks and weeks, Foberg Private Wealth. And if you think your business might benefit from having uh, themselves as being a sponsor, please check it out. Please do, because uh, we're not stopping. Next week, oh, Brent well, Anderson. Brent Anderson's coming yeah, in. You can't go yeah. wrong there. Absolutely. And then... Eric Struthers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Some OG guitar players right there. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. All right. So, but we got them all waters. We got them all towels. We got the fans going. We got to get hey. dancing again. Let's, Speaking uh, of OGs, let's, let's get uh, back to the OG New Orleans brass band right here, the Hot 8. Don't forget to wash your hands and stomp your feet. Oh, yeah.
been yeah. out of It's so tempting to touch, but I won't Keep my hands in my pocket just cause I won't What well, did you say I could? I'm beside your waistline Touch it down low like you bust in the baseline She yelled that I'm in the eye of the public So I'm about to take a picture and bust it I give him three fingers when I play the trumpet And when I'm representing, that's my home, I love it You start something by slinging it my way I was on chill, you invaded my stage You come with me, girl, we going to my place We gon' take a trip to the end of LA and hold up
Why do people break up? Oh, turn around and make up. I just can't sleep. New Orleans, I say, you never do that to me. Would you, baby, be in around you? <laughs> great, really capturing the spirit of this great band. You're going to want to bid on that because it's not sold yet. And you know what? Last, uh, Not last week, the James Booker painting sold, but we still have the Bucktown All-Stars. That was one of the most beautiful paintings, the the action that was there. I can I can hear those guys, you know, performing when I when I look at these paintings. And these this is just amazing work that he's got. Check it out. Check it out. Go to the website. Bid on that Frenchie painting. Become a sponsor like Foberg Private Wealth. Just click on the donate button. We need your assistance because um, we're, we're having to change things up just a little bit. Like I mentioned earlier, our, um, our focus has changed a little bit. Absolutely. Our guys are out there. You're going back to work. Uh, mm -hmm. Our other guys are going back to work. Um, a lot of folks are. So, you know, since COVID hit in mid-March of 2020, we've been uh, very aware of how quickly our musicians' culture can be, our musical culture can be lost, right? I mean, it can disappear in a heartbeat. We learned that at Katrina. We learned that during COVID. So we've been supporting the musicians and the gig workers since April of 2020. We produce weekly shows for 69 weeks. Week 69 weeks. Almost $500,000. And our mission to help those vibes. Because this music, especially what we have here with the Hot 8 tonight, walks hand in hand down the street with, with our traditions. And it means so much. And now that our live music is returning slowly back to the city, we feel now more than ever a need to archive this music and to make sure that when somebody thinks about New Orleans music, it's not just those very, very important people like Louis Armstrong and Sidney Bechet and Danny Barker and uh, all of our, all of our you know, elder Batiste. musicians you know, and Batiste. oh, the Baptiste, yeah, all the Olympia and Eureka and all those, oh, Uncle Lionel, I saw a picture of him today. But we want people to know and to remember things that 
that it's not just those old guys. It's the guys that learn from them. I'm sure the first song you ever played as a brass band was not Sexual Healing. I'm sure it was probably Second Line or Saints or Bourbon Street Parade or whatever. And that's what you built your foundation on. And that's what we're hoping that you will help us support by bringing, um, bringing a little bit of support and, and love to our musicians. All right. Yeah, rant they brought over. us so much joy over the yeah. years. We want to, you yeah. know, preserve that joy and uh, other people to keep enjoying it for years and generations to come. So we appreciate everyone who's joined us on this uh, wonderful journey and help us keep bringing the music to the people because the Lord knows it's important. And if you're loving the show tonight like I am, well, you can go back, relive this magic, go to our YouTube page, hit subscribe. You can watch this show and all the others and, uh, you know, get to uh, listen to all those great shows you saw at the Funky Uncle, wherever you may be again and again. And, uh, you know, I'm about to head out west for a little bit. So this is my last show for a couple weeks, but don't worry. I will be back. I'm so Leaving grateful to the alone. Hot 8 for, for <laughs> sending me off and grateful to Leslie for holding down the spot and this amazing crew for making it all happen. But in the meantime, we're going to let the band get back to it, and then after they're done, we're going to have a little chat, tell some stories. This is an incredible group of artists who've been through it, everything in this, uh, in this life of music, and Lord knows they've got some tales to tell. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're getting back to it. Y'all don't I'm forget to, uh, you know, wash them hands and stomp your, your feet. feet. Susan Hurst. 
care what mama say. We gon' play the Susan anyway. Mama don't allow no Susan play around here. Our pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Thunder Lewis, Andre Sims, Harry Cook, Larry Brown, Drew Calhoun, Chris Cotton, Big Al, Holly Out there, Billy Pete Tyrus Chapman. Sauce, you in here? How they brass band? Thank y'all. Absolutely, Benny Pete. What's up, my man? Wherever you are, how they brass band blowing the roof off the funky uncle. What a great show. Reminded me why this is one of my favorite brass bands in a city full of brass bands that I love. Nothing like the Hot H, y'all. They uh, just blend so many styles. They take it from, from the trad to the hip-hop to funk, and it doesn't matter if they're on a soundstage here in a Mardi Gras float then marching down, you know, Claiborne Avenue or, you know, blowing the roof off a stage at Jazz Fest or anywhere else in the world. These ba this band always just brings it 100% brings the fire, and uh, we love having them here. We're so grateful. It's been a great night here at the Funky Uncle, and we're honored to get to sit down and chat with the band some, talk about, you know, coming up, playing music in New Orleans, and, uh, you know, where they're going to take it from here, because this band has always just forged their own path, and uh, we're grateful to have them here. So looks like everyone's getting all set up, so we're going to start everything out with my man Al. Al, you are, you're one of the OGs of the Hot 8 Brass Band. Yeah. Happy Slash the entire around, city of New man. Orleans. Absolutely. Happy to still be around, man. You know Amen. all the ups and downs, all the losses, man. And For hey, real. I'm proud to still be here representing, man. Exactly. I, I just want to see as someone who's been following y'all for many years, I know... Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of struggles that y'all have had to face as a as a band, and um, you've had some great players come through this band. You've also sadly had to had to you know march had some members march on over the years. And I just want to say Most you know definitely. big shout out to all you know all of the past and former members, especially those who aren't here to still play with us. But uh, like I said once again. Y'all have always just kept going. I remember, you know, after after Katrina hit, going to Second Lines a few months after the storm, y'all would come down the street and everyone would just come out of houses with water line marks. But as soon as they'd hear that band come by, they'd yep. run out. Thanks. And it was like, you know, we were back to living that New Orleans life again. 
So I'm grateful for that. And uh, so what's it been like, y'all? Finally go getting to play again after this crazy year. How's it feel to be back hitting with your band? Man, this that's what we've been waiting on. I mean, like, we were always hopeful that it would be lifted sooner than it actually was. And we didn't expect to be out as long as we were. But, you know, with something as serious in nature and losing so many people, you know, we have to be careful and health first with everybody. So, um... We weren't trying to force it or push it, and um, as soon as we could, we had a couple small gigs. Like people would do kind of like drive-by things, where they'd kind of have mm -hmm. us stand in the driveway, and friends would just drive up, exchange gifts, and keep going. Nice. So you know, we kind of adjusted to that. That was very little, but it was yeah. a neat idea to try to kind of keep the work going. Yeah. Um, but since it's lifted, man, I mean, that's like I said, that's what we've been waiting on, man, and. We've been back playing at Howling Wolf for like six weeks now where people have been able to actually dance. And yeah. that's huge in itself, man, because it was weird for us playing for a room full of people sitting in chairs. Like, that's right. just not our style. That's not the hot eight sound. We'll right take there. it how it comes, but, like, yeah. we would totally prefer people to be up dancing, moving around. But, like I said, we'll take what we can get at the cautious state that we were in, so we were appreciative of that. Absolutely, absolutely. So now y'all were the y'all were the hot young band back in the day on the brass band scene, and you've been going ever since. But now y'all are kind of becoming the like like elders of the scene, as so many have marched on. Now, what's it like, uh, kind of bringing up the younger brass band scene? Uh, how, what do you see it going? What's the future of the New Orleans brass sound now? Right around Katrina, there was a decline, and right. I feel like we are directly, partially responsible for the resurgence of it right now because. Amen. uh it's so many bands that's coming out of nowhere, man. And yeah. not really nowhere, because they've been practicing in, in their sheds and garages and parks. And yeah. it's showing, man, because now you're seeing so many bands. And you know we're all one big community, and we can kind of intermingle and help each other out. Like, there's so many standards and songs that everybody plays together. So that's really the biggest part of it. Like, And we would be open, man. Like, we would let people come in join with us in second lines and try to get their feet wet in in the past we weren't like that because uh it affects your sound and what's happening around you you know so we were kind of cautious about that but you know after katrina we would let total strangers we would invite them to come feel the vibes learn the music you know get in where you fit in type thing and that's why I say I feel like we really have a hand in that because so many bands got inspired by that and feeling like they could do it, they could be a part of it. And most of us are still right here in local New Orleans, man, so they get to see us every day going to the grocery store, pumping gas. So, you know, we're still here. They can see it. It's believable that they can make it like that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I bet uh, most of these young kids today and these brass bands probably grew up marching down the street on Sundays with the hot oh, eight. man. So... Just, yeah, for sure. No, go on. Just like we did, man. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, well, talk about the current lineup that we got right now and how this uh, this lineup of the Hot Eight came together. Oh man, I mean, everybody here has been around for multiple years. Dre nice. is the second to the last to come around, and he's been here for like gone on four years, man. So, nice. just past year with us being shut down from the pandemic, that's one thing. While you haven't right. seen some of the guys, and then I mean, like. The year before that, we were basically living in the U.K., man. We couldn't stay home, man. We were yeah. on the road, like, right, not Europe. just the U.K., but we were in Europe a whole lot, man. Yeah. And um, we weren't home a lot, like, even for, like, the major stuff, Mardi Gras, Essence Fest, Bayou Classic, all the stuff that we put in our songs. We were home for none of that stuff, man. Yeah. So we were kind of ready to be home. You kind of get homesick when you're on the road for every single thing, man. Sure. Then when you're home too long, you're like, oh, when is the next trip? Right. <laughs> so y'all ready to get back on the road again? Yes. Uh, <laughs> nice. A little bit. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's great having y'all here. Be able to get to see you at the Howl for wherever, you know, every week. Yeah, it's always nice no having y'all home. Our pleasure. Sure. Absolutely. Well, got any new music that's coming out people need to be looking at? I'm going to tell you, for? really honestly, we have a whole entire board full of music. And you can fact check this. We canceled our studio session tonight to be here. Oh, we rescheduled thank you. it, not canceled no, it. We yeah. rescheduled it. So we had to come show some love, man. That We're means in the a studio right now putting the next thing out together, and you'll have it shortly. That's what up. Can't wait to hear it, just like I do every everything y'all have ever put out, man. It's always been in my CD player, always been jamming to it. Appreciate the love, and I'll man. I'll continue to. Well, we appreciate y'all coming in.
You guys got any shout outs you want to say to anyone before you roll out? I got to give a shout out to Benny Peep, by the Once way. Once again, man, shout out to Benny, man. Tyra, Sauce, all y'all in here, the whole Absolutely. Hot 8. If you ever played with Hot 8, been around Hot 8, a fan of Hot 8, supporter of Hot 8, man, we appreciate the love to all y'all. It's Everybody true. that's donating to the city, to the foundation, to the cause right here, we appreciate all the help because yeah. everybody could use a little bit and these people that's are reaching sure. back to the real culture, so thank y'all for supporting. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Thank Shout y'all. Hot eight brass, man. Yeah, bro. Shout out to the whole Uptown. Yeah, the whole UBT uptown. in the house. Believe that. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Good stuff. All right, y'all. We appreciate thank it. Hot eight brass, man, oh, thank y'all. You, man. Big shout out to the hot eight. Always blowing it up. Once again, my name is Soul Stu. It's time for me to get back wandering, but I'll be back in a couple weeks. And I know the great crew here at the Funky Uncle is going to hold it down and bring you some great music in the meantime. Appreciate everyone who's tuned in. Once again, big shout out to the Hot 8 and our hardworking crew for making this all happen and the crew of Sucks. This is Soul Stu. Peace out. Y'all be good to each other. Who that, baby? <laughs>